Hello everyone, welcome to the Love Boxing channel. Today's video is a fight between Alexander Usyk and Artur Deterbiev. Not many people know that they boxed each other, although it was in the amateurs. Even then, it was clear what exactly Usyk was strong in and what Deterbiev was strong in. Let's watch. He's a multi-time Ukrainian national champ. He be who was number nine in the world yesterday who retired in the third round. Bartibiev beat Zarkin Kubau of two. So these two boxers are well equipped to handle themselves. Bartibiev coming in with a bobbing and weaving style, keeping his distance, most likely doesn't want to taste the power of Bartibiev, at least not too early if he doesn't have to. And now you see Yusik doing a good job with his lateral movement, turning his man, while Bert Terbiev sails over the head of Yusik, and Yusik continues to press forward here, halfway through the first round. And now Bert Terbiev, nice straight left by Yusik. Bert Terbiev keeping his hands a little too low. Like to see them a little higher. Stand his ground like that. Throw jabs. Move forward, not backwards. Very hard to box while you're moving backwards. Clinch with Berdebriev. Push him off of him. Let him know he's not going anywhere. These are the heavyweights. They're designed to slug. They're just a little more punishment. That's a nice left hand, a rear left hand by Yusik, and it's also some nice movement. And no more on Berdebriev. Berdebriev's not going anywhere. That's the end of round one. Indian with a 6-2 advantage. Because of boxing like that, good movement. Look how he avoids the, the onslaught, the, the rush by Baturbiev. Not editorializing, not forming opinions, just stating the facts. Two. Nice to change it up to keep the boxer that you're facing guessing. Don't want to be predictable and let him know where you're going before you get there. You want to get there on surprise. Added bonus in your repertoire. And now Yusik going to start to let his hands go a little bit. He's boxing in the southpaw stance. He's boxing and turning. Also very effective. A right hand by Berturbiev, though. Scores on the temple, and it looks like he buckled Yusik, and he senses it. Yusik a little shaken. Baturbi of a big puncher, lots of experience. He knows how to finish a fight. With a counter punch. And it looks like Yusik now coming on strong. Yusik's got a very impressive frame for a 91-pounder. Very well proportioned. Great body movement. Nice punch to the belly by Yusik, another one, and another three, four, four consecutive left hands by Yusik. And another to the belly, Yusik straight through, if he can. Again, in boxing, the key is not to punch your opponent. The key is to A chopping right hand by Berturbiev, and now he's got Yusik back on the ropes. And here comes Berturbiev, he's got Yusik, he throws a right hand, and Yusik is bobbing and weaving, he's trying to and now they lock horns, they clinch. Round two has come to a close. This will be an extremely important round, and it's 12-8 the Ukrainian. Round for the Russian, but just not good enough. He scored four more points than he had in the first round. However, the Ukrainian scored six as well. They both punched to need to get over the mountain. And as much of what we saw in the last round, except, but to outright flatline it and stop it in its tracks. Nice left right combination by Yusik. Like to see Baturbiev put the offense back on. Granted, he's up by four going in. He
he's got no choice. He needs to score four points plus in this round. Will he be able to do it? Or will Young, Alexander, Yusik, possible? Or so it would have seemed. He beat the number nine in the world yesterday. That was Tervel Pula. Days in a row. Can he unseat two top ten ranked boxers back to back to the finals? If he could beat number one, well then mathematics would tell you that he could beat him in this weight class. However, styles make fights. And there's no way to say that because he could beat Paterviev, he could beat the others. Now, it looks like that was a Kusik down. We'll need to take another look on the replay to see exactly what put him down. He doesn't look like he was injured. Right where he needs to be with 14 seconds left still. And Yusik throws a right hand that falls just, excuse me, Baturbiev does, falls underneath the chin of Yusik. And now, with just two seconds left, this one's going to go to the scorecards. Looks a little forlorn. He looks a little disappointed in his performance. And, and the winner is Alexander Yusik from the Ukraine. Another monumental upset here. Thanks for watching this video to the end, guys. I hope you enjoyed this fight. If so, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. See you soon. Take care.